Hey guys, how are you? Andy Suku, founder of CEO YTK Credit Solutions. Today, I want to talk to you about a settlement, a mutual release, and a judgment, and the legal documents that come when handling a judgment with a law firm and a consumer and a, another law firm that's representing the consumer. All right. So, um, I have a, this document it is going to be posted in this video. Um, this is a real time document for our client. Obviously, we have to write out the client's name and the transaction and whatnot, whatever went on in the case. But um, you'll see when you read this document, the document was the judgment was filed um, in the cl client's name and the client's business. So let me talk about that first. There's a lot of people on social media telling you that you don't need to PG auto loans or certain kind of loans um, if you have business credit. Over time, over time, over time, I proven this wrong. You do have to PG it, especially if you're a startup business um, and you don't have a PL, profit and loss statement or a tax return for your business, you do have to PG it. This was a trucking company that the client had. The trucking company started in COVID times when the hype was on. And as time progressed, the business does not do so well. So the client had to shut it down. The client still had payments for the trucks. The trucks were repossessed or voluntary repossessed. However, they classified it, it's still repossession. Um, and uh, there was a judgment issued. The client could not pay it with the original creditor. The original creditor sent it to an attorney's office. The attorney actually sued the client, obtained a default judgment in court in the state of Texas, and um, the judgment was issued. And now the client is buying a home and he's getting ready for the close um, on his home. He's building a home from scratch. When public record was ran, this judgment showed up. The debt was for about $30,000. Y2K was able to settle it for $14,000 with no prejudice, that means, you know, it cannot re reopen again. And by the way, this is the same process that I'm going to talk about for our U.S. client and our Canadian clients, okay? The same process. So the client came to us. We, he retained our services. We represent him. And that's one thing Y2K does. We represent clients in judgments, lawsuits, anywhere in the U.S. and Canada. Um, we have an attorney network that can handle this stuff for us and, you know, we get the job done. So... The client had a judgment, we resolved it for him, got the settlement, the settlement was satisfied. But what's important and why this document is important is that the stipulation had to be black and white for both parties, not only for our client, but the creditor that was suing the client from their attorney's office. So the reason I'm talking about this, I wanna let you guys know that when you have a judgment, first of all, you shouldn't try to self-represent yourself because the attorneys that are suing you, they know that consumers don't know the law. They know that. No matter how much you Google, how much you YouTube, you, they're gonna throw words, verbiage, language towards you you won't even understand, right? And they know how to get you to pay more in the settlement. If this client didn't retain us, he probably would have paid about 21,000, saving him 9,000. We got it down to 14,000. And before you agree to any settlement or any kind of um, satisfaction in a judgment, the stipulation and the agreement has to be written out in black and white, benefiting both parties, and everyone's signature has to be on it. Do not accept any form of settlement from an attorney's office if it, the stipulation is not in black and white and it's in your favor. Well, both parties favor, actually, but also the, the case can never be reopened and the debt can never be, the balance of the debt that was not paid can never be sold to another law firm or another collection agency or they cannot come after you in the future. It is very important, the documentation. Now, if you have a judgment, everyone's going to be having judgments now. The last quarter of the fiscal year is here. A lot of judgments can be enforced because people are going to be filing tax returns. You know, if you file a tax return, the court comes first priority. So a lot of judgments are going to be enforced. If you have a judgment and you need help resolving it, don't try to take on something that you don't specialize in. Give our office a call. We can help you out with it. We've had tons of video. We have tons of video and testimony on our YouTube channel, our Google reviews on cases that we've represented clients on and we want. We're always going to win our clients' cases. That, that's a fact, especially if I'm involved. Um, so this is the judgment. You're going to see this document, the release, stipulation release. It's going to be on the video. Uh, read it. If you have any questions about this video, drop a comment below and I'll try to answer it for you guys. Again, this is the same process for our US clients and our Canadian clients. We have clients in Canada that we represent as well. Same process, it has to be done the same way. There's kind of like a checklist per se that has to go through when you're dealing with a judgment. And lastly, um, one thing with us that when we settle a judgment for our clients, 
it's also resolved in court. So when a client tries to buy or purchase a home in the future, this does not come back up on public record. That's very key, key important. Consumers can do that, all right? Most attorneys, when they settle a debt for their clients, not us, like the attorney representing the creditors, they don't care about resolving or clearing the, the vacating the case in court. Let me use the exact terminology, vacating the case in court. They just collect the funds and they leave it and it's up to the consumer four years later when they're trying to buy something and that's ju this judgment comes up for them to clear it on their own and it becomes very tedious. So documentation is key when you're being sued. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.